Hi, my name is Silent Gimmon, and I am the owner of the trustisyou.com and a podcast called Stop Paying Capital Gains Now. This is going to be the fifth blog for my website. Today, we're going to talk about royalties. Now, most people think of royalties as uh, being an artist, being an author, being a songwriter, writing a script play, being an actor. But do you realize royalties are also anything in the NFT world, NFT artwork, NFT crypto, or NFT real estate? Now, just to give you a quick overview uh, with what I'm talking about, this is a very specialized trust. Uh, it's going to save you in three ways. 97% of the trusts out there only avoid going through probate. This trust is going to save you federal ca uh, federal uh, taxes. It's going to save you uh, your information 100% private. And it's going to keep you from being uh, any judgments if you get sued. Or maybe I should change that when you get sued. Now, the Spendthrift Trust is legal. It is uh, patented. It is in the IRS tax code 643B, like Bravo. And I do split the trust in half. There's a business trust for 1099 income uh, people. Uh, it's You can save up to 70% every single year on your uh, federal taxes. That's important. That's a lot of money. Or the beneficial trust that helps investors. What investors? You'll stop paying year after year capital gains, short term and long term. You'll stop paying interest income if you're a Forex investor, if you do notes like I do, if you're investing in uh, some other group like a REIT or something like that, or if you're doing the Burr strategy. That's interest income. It's going to save dividend income if you're in the stock market, if you're doing options trading, if you're doing day trading or futures trading, if you're having rental income, maybe you have short term rentals like Airbnbs or Verbos or long term rentals like seven doors, 10 doors, 20 doors and royalties. Now, just to give you an idea with royalties are taxed a little bit less than everything else. It's between 10 percent to 35 percent, seven different layers. Now, with what I, I'm going to discuss today, we think they're paying 24 percent. Uh, royalties. We're not too sure they're getting their 2022 taxes done today. Now, the story. This is a story about uh, a client of mine. Uh, first, the husband. Uh, his name is Tom. Tom started the trust because he's a wholesaler. He is usually wholesaling houses in uh, Florida. He's getting houses, and his goal is to wholesale each house for twenty thousand dollars. In 2022, he sold five uh, holes. Uh, did five wholesale deals. Just to give you an idea, when he did five wholesale deals, and I'm looking at my numbers, so please forgive me to do this, with the trust, because he got the trust, he saved $23,800 just with his wholesale deals. Congratulations to Tom. Now his wife, his wife is Mary Ann. She's, uh, she is an artist, and when we were having a conversation about getting the trust started, we talked about um, all the different ways the trust saves money. She says to me, What's NFT artists? And I you know, explain to her what it does. And I have a friend uh, in my, um, at Casey Eberhardt's uh, Platinum Inner Circle group, a friend of mine, uh, Teresa, is an NFT artist. She goes, you mean I can do my artwork uh, and sell it online? I'm like, yes, you can. So this is a true story. Over Thanksgiving, she decided to put an artwork up onto the Meta World for $1,000. It was a picture that she had done several years ago uh, in watercolors, but she went up, she did a, a, a very professional picture. She put it up to sell it. Congratulations to her. Then she thought, hey, what if I start doing a series of that picture? One person bought it for $1,000. What if I sell it for a hundred people uh, to a hundred different people? She called me and I, I had to let her know that first picture is 1099 income. You guys do not have the business trust. You could set it up in an LLC, but you're going to keep yourself open to being sued and, and things like that. She goes, I, I'll pay, I'll pay 1099 income on that. I said picture two through uh one uh, through two through one hundred is considered a royalty. So think of it this way: she's going to make ninety nine thousand dollars, and when we times that by twenty four percent, because that's in between the ten percent to uh, thirty five percent, she's going to save two thousand seven hundred and sixty dollars. The competition started between the husband and wife. He he saved in 2022 $23,800. She saved their family $23,760. She was off by $40. She's like, oh, no, 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 no. I'm changing that for 2023. So what she's now doing, get a hold of this, she's going to do seven, seven different series of pictures of one through 100. She's going to sell each one of them for $1,000. So just take this as an advice. You know, we're doing 24% uh, 24 uh, uh, royalty income on that times seven times. Let's just do this real quick. I have my little handy dandy calculator out here. Times seven. 
If she does this correctly, she's going to save in 2023 over $166,000. Are you ready for this? $166,320 $166, because she's an artist on in the NFT world. Now, again, she is taking artwork that she has done and had professionally photographed and sold someplace else, and she's selling it on the NFT um, in, in the meta world. I don't know how she's doing it. I am not the person who's doing this. She's just telling me this. And um, they do have a CPA. They're doing their regular taxes. And the CPA did look this up to, figure, to uh, confirm that her first picture of the series is 1099 income. And picture two through 100 is a royalty. Her husband is now on a mission. He wants to sell more uh, wholesale more houses than she sells paintings. The whole joke is, who cares? Y'all saving a ton of money and making a ton of money. Again, this is for royalties. I do have another client. He inherited his uh, granddad's uh, horse farm or a horse ranch in Oklahoma. On his horse ranch, he has six oil wells. Those oil wells are considered royalties. It's coming from the ground. He's saving royalties that way. I just talked to uh, somebody yesterday who represents uh, people who are selling. Uh, she's getting them on the New York Times bestseller list. She's saying that they're not getting that much money up front. But she is going to let people know about this because royalties do royalties are going to uh, charge you every single year. Again, between 10% to 30, uh, 35% for royalties, seven different layers. Now, with the husband who's doing wholesaling houses, that's short-term capital gains, and that's 23.8%. So there's a little bit different tax structures happening here. The Spendthrift Trust is saving this one family in Florida quite a bit of money. So just to give you an idea, between the two of them, 23,800 plus 23,760, in 2022, they saved $47,560 in less than one year. That's important. Now what they're looking at to do for uh, 2000, 2023, if she does her seven pictures, one, uh, 100, uh, seven, 100 of each one of those pictures, plus her husband doing the same amount of wholesaling, two, three, Eight zero zero. We're going to save them a hundred and ninety thousand one hundred and twenty dollars in two thousand twenty three. What can I do to help you save money with what you're doing with your talents? Again, my name is Sally Gimmon. The website is thetrustisyou.com. It helps you save ten ninety nine income. It helps you save capital gains. It saves interest income, dividend income, rental income, and royalties. My uh, my podcast is Stop Paying Capital Gains Now. And uh, go out to my website, uh, the, um, the, the com to set an appointment with me. If I can help the two of them save hundreds of thousands of dollars, what can I do for you? Take care. Have a beautiful day.